Hi, artists. I really hope you enjoyed the story of Elmer. David McKee is a really cool writer and illustrator. So let's create Elmer. I have a fun way to do it. So my kindergarten artists are going to receive an Elmer that looks like this. This one's already drawn out and what you're going to do is practice tracing while I draw. So what you want is a good pencil and an eraser and while I do the step-by-step -step drawing for the older artists on blank paper you're gonna follow along by tracing. Alright so take a minute to grab that Elmar sheet and come back to the video. Is grab your pencil and a good eraser. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie as always so that you can see my work. And start by creating an arc in the center of your page which creates Elmer's back. So you're gonna do from left to right. And then he has sort of like a hump on his forehead. And then it hooks down for his trunk. And then it goes up for his mouth and down for its feet. And then we're going to go into an L or a Z shape and it looks almost like Elmer is walking which is kind of interesting element to your drawing. So that's the two feet that are in the front facing you. And we have to add, of course, those big ears that we, we love to see on elephants. And his eye. So you can um, make his trunk skinny, whatever you decide. This is your creation. And I'm just showing you ways to add the dimension of four legs instead of just two. And there you go. Pretty simple. So again, start with an arc. Go all the way up and around. And you'll have a little hump for his forehead. And you'll come down for the trunk. So it looks like you've almost created a whole circle here. And then we'll give the dimensions of his trunk. Mine came a little bit different than I would have liked, but it's okay. And that's all we can do. So the next piece of our project is adding those really cool patchwork colors that you see in the story because without the patchwork, Elmer is not Elmer. But maybe your elephant's a little different. Maybe it's a friend of Elmer's and they look alike. That part is totally up to you. So the next part of this lesson, we'll be showing you the steps to adding color to Elmer. Have fun. So now it's time to add some really neat color elements to Elmer, just like in the book. How would we make something like this? Well, one way is to use tissue paper and glue and create that patchwork pattern that is super cool. So on your Elmer drawing, make sure that you have outlined your pencil drawing with a Sharpie. And the reason why we want to use a Sharpie is so that when we apply the color elements, the ink doesn't run. So make sure you use a Sharpie. If you use the regular marker, no worries. Just go right over it with the Sharpie and you'll be good to go. Just know that you might see a little black marker run through, but it's okay. Um, so what you need is glue. You're going to be given a little cap to put the glue and water in and a brush and some tissue paper cutting. So some of these are gonna be different shapes and sizes and colors and that's what makes it really fun. 
So those are going to be pre-cut into different shapes for you. They're not perfect squares and that's why it's all the fun, all more fun because your patchwork is going to look completely different from mine, which is great. So get started with taking your glue and you're going to open it up. Mine is really tight because it's glued shut. So give me a minute to open it. I actually have a little bit of water right here that I'm going to show you um, what I'm doing so you can see it better. Your glue um, will be open, the caps will be open so you can pour them in easily. And you're just going to pour a little bit, okay? I'm doing a little bit extra just to get this going visually. And you're going to stir it up with your brush very gentle and again you're only filling a cap so you won't you won't have as much but it is fun to do can be messy but that's good so your brush has glue and water on it and what you're going to do is take your first piece of tissue paper and place it on Elmer wherever you like and one thing I can recommend is that to make sure that your sketchbook doesn't get fully drenched with water is to open it up and pull the Elmer piece down below. You don't have to tear it out, just pull it out by itself and then it's directly on your table. You can also put paper underneath if you're at home and you're concerned about the water seeping through or anything getting on your table. So grab your first piece of tissue, police it wherever you want, grab a little water, just a little bit, tap out the extra and you're going to paint the glue right onto your tissue paper. And you'll see that this happens, which is fine because you're going to just unfold it and some of the tissue paper might be the kind that bleeds and it creates color and some may not. And you'll go again with a different color and place it wherever you like. And you can overlap. It's a patchwork design of your choice. You're the artist. I want to see what kind of Elmer your Elmer looks like. And maybe it's not an Elmer. Maybe it's a Eleanor or an Ellen or something else. So you'll just go through and keep adding a little bit of water and a little bit of pressure with your brush. You don't want to overload and get this saturated. If you do, don't fret it. Just want, just leave it out to dry and it will just go back to, it may crinkle up a little bit, but that's all good. I'm going to do one more here for this demonstration and then you are good to go. You don't have to overlap, you can do however you want. You also can cover his face if you want. You can cut out shapes smaller if you would like. Use your scissors. The creative freedom for you is the sky's the limit. And if they crumple up, they crumple up. You can use your fingers to pat it down. If you want to cover up those crumples, all you need to do is go back at it. Last step is you're going to tear out your Elmer when you're done and we're going to cut him out and place him on another one. So this video is going to get sped up and we're going to show you the finished project. project. Gosh, I can't speak today. So have fun with this. Fill your whole Elmer. If it goes outside his lines, that's fine because you're going to be cutting this up when it's dry around the lines and placing it in a frame that you make. Have fun, artists.
so now you've waited for it to dry for a bazillion years and it's all crackly and weird but we're going to set this aside and move to the background we're going to make a really fun patchwork background to set our elmer on and what i need you to get are some materials that are in your classroom the first thing is this grid and that's the most important piece to start with so your classroom teacher will hand this out and you need one each and the first thing you want to do you'll be getting more of these to cut into strips but you want one that you're not going to cut into strips you just need to start with that this will be your um, frame so you're going to hold it this way and fold it up so that the corners meet and make a nice crease down the center. And this way you'll see the lines on both sides. And then grab your scissors and what you're going to do is cut along each black line to the, to the end mark. So you don't want to cut all the way through to the other side because then it will break apart and we need this to be like a mat. So we'll cut across one, there's seven of them. One, two, three, four, All right, so now it looks like a cool, like, I don't know, a fan maybe. So we're going to open it up and flatten it out on our, on our table right in front. So now, holding it the same way, this way, you're going to reach for your next color of paper that you picked. And you're going to simply cut these into strips. And this time, you will cut the whole thing off. So I'm going to do one just to show you real quick. So you have a whole bunch of strips. I've cut a whole bunch here to show you, okay? And kindergartners, there'll be some of these in your classroom to help you out and give you some guidance if you need it. Some of them are different widths. Some of them are not cut straight. That's okay. Just practice your scissor cutting as best as you can. I know you can do it. Take one strip and you're going to start at the bottom and the first opening you go under, okay? Just like that. Then you push it through so it goes over the next one. Then lift up the third strip and go under that one. So holding it this way You'll push that through and it will go over the next one and under the next one and over the last one. And it's a little weaving. So your first one is over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Now, what do you think the next one's going to be? It's going to be the exact opposite, which means you're going to start by putting it under the first one and not over it like this one. Let me show you. So take another color. I'm going to pick blue. And instead of going in the same pattern that I did the first one, I'm going to go underneath the first one and over the second one so that I have a really interesting pattern over, under, and you'll have to just push these through. So under, over, under, over, under, over, under, 
over. See what happens? So you're going to push it down to the bottom. And this way, the part that you didn't cut holds everything together, and your strips will stick out. That's fine. We can trim those later if you want. I'm going to speed up this video and do the rest of my grid so that you can show, I can show you what, how it turns out and what is the next step for Elmer. Because you'll be cutting out Elmer and placing him on your pretty, 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 colorful mat.